Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is no ordinary keychain, nor is it a normal remote control. It is a true universal remote control in the sense that you could aim it at just about any television on the planet, press a button, and eventually it'll find the code to turn it off. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, why would I want a remote control that would turn off a television that I was pointing it at? Imagine this scenario. You happen to be like me. You dislike sports, and you really dislike watching any kind of sporting event on television. And you just so happen to be stuck in the airport for a uh, few extra hours. And uh, the only place to eat is at a bar. And uh, you're sitting there watching people make fools of themselves, uh, cheering for a team uh, that doesn't care whether they, you know, well, cheer for them or not. And uh, you're bored, out of your gourd. Well, you could take this. You know, just kind of conceal it, you know, maybe just, you know, kind of like play around, move it over here, aim it towards the television, press a button, and eventually it'll trip upon the code to turn that television off. Then watch chaos ensue, people freak out left and right. This is tons of fun, and it's quite portable, very thin, fits in your pocket. I wouldn't say your wallet, it's a little thicker for that, uh, but certainly uh, could come in handy if you wanted to do a little social hacking uh, and, uh, you know, repeatedly do this, especially uh, in a place where a lot of the um, people who happen to be watching sports are Neanderthals. Not to say that every sports viewer or sports fan is a Neanderthal. Uh, certainly there are, uh, are characteristics uh, that are similar between the two uh, races uh, or breeds or um, hybrids, wh whatever you, you want to call sports fans and Neanderthals. Uh, for me, they're kind of, when I looked it up on Wikipedia, uh, I looked up Neanderthal, it said see sports fan. And then I looked up sports fan, it said see Neanderthal. It's kind of recursive that way. It's crazy. So it's, I'm not just making it up. Look at it in Wikipedia. It must be true. Uh, aim it at a television, press a button. Eventually, it'll trip upon the code to turn it off. Try it in, uh, in a bar, in uh, any place that's got a television. Um, you know, you could probably... Uh, really upset your teacher. I wouldn't recommend doing it in a classroom uh, because you could likely get suspended for something like that. Whereas the worst that could happen to you if you do it in a bar is, well, nothing. Cause I don't think they'd ever figure out that you were using this remote control. Don't do it repeatedly. You'd only want to do it a couple times just to see what would happen, but then they might start getting suspicious. Um, you know, if they start looking around, well, does someone have a remote control for this television or what? Uh, that's where you really have to be careful. So this gadget is available uh, from thinkgeek.com. They sent it to me uh, for review, the Micro Spy Remote, a mini universal remote control. I don't know if they make them much smaller than this, but certainly I don't think they make them more fun than this, or simple, really. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons, including a big red power button. Hmm, I wonder what that does. You can even change the volume or the channel, so you can... You just have tons of fun with this thing. Not just turn it on and off. It's it, it, it's super small and fun. So, uh, you know, if you've got a, a spy gadget that you know uh, that uh, I should be taking a look at or maybe you use on a regular basis to, uh, you know, have fun, or, you know, maybe it's functional, not just fun, let me know what you got. My email address is chris at perillo.com. I realized that that came out sounding like that was my knee mail address, but uh, I was I had a little spittle and I swallowed and it's actually my email address. My knee mail address also happens to be chris at perillo.com, so either way, uh, you're good to go. Uh, if you're a Neanderthal, well, good luck typing on the keyboard. <laughs> that's, what, that's what blogging's for, you know? Neanderthals love to blog. You see it happen all the time. <sighs> Any monkey can blog. <laughs> Try to make sense of it. So uh, if you want to chat with the rest of us Neanderthals, I mean, geeks, we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. <laughs>